Got operable windows available for purchase on Rabbit Design Shop. You can go to rabbitdesign.net, find these items in the shop section. So we have two windows here. They're going to be a casement window and a sliding window. Drop in a couple casement windows. Just take a look at what happens when we place these in a plan. And sliding window as well. Now keep in mind these windows are built from doors. This is a very specific parameter of these windows. They are built from door symbols so that if you open them up on a component level, they are in fact going to be doors. Now they do report to windows. So when we look in our plan view, you're going to see that it's got a window label here. So by default, they do report to a window schedule. But there are some graphical issues here. If you do in fact want to use these in the plan view, it will show the operable window as it would if it were a door, a double French door in this case. So because of that fact, because these aren't a perfect solution to adding operable windows to your architect plan, the price is indicative of that, that shortcoming. Fortunately, there's no way around it. So um, that's kind of inherent in this particular symbol is if you want the look of an operable window or door, you are going to have to deal of that in plan view because they are doors. Now let's take a look at a couple of the uh, features of this and now there are a couple of exclusions as well in terms of features when you are using a door symbol versus a window. Uh, namely that we can't have a, a window treatment in terms of like a, a blinds or something like that. And we're using the shutter on the door to create a frame for the window itself and the frame is meant to be modeled in fact it's being uh, it's using the anderson windows cad frame to create the frame here out of a shutter that is placed with a particular offset and there's a problem with that on the sliding window part um, that takes a little bit of user input to get to look correctly uh, for the casement window the casement window works wonderfully right out of the box the only thing i would say is uh, it doesn't work well with a mold window because we get an error with those shutters being mold. So it's nice if you just place one window next to the other. Uh, and as you shrink these down to a certain size, they will automatically switch to a single casement window so that you can get a double casement window that has a divider in between if you reflect some of these about themselves, right? So if I select this right window, and then reflect it about center. Now I have a double casement window with a division in between. Otherwise, I can get rid of the second window and then open this up. And you can see one panel is fixed, one panel is operable. You can change this in your uh, options panel. We're just going to get into the door swing section and we can go to board both doors swing again. This is a door symbol. So you can open this up and also change the percentage that is open. So we can change that swing angle. Maybe it's a 35 degree swing angle. You can see uh, the likeness of these windows kind of close down a little bit. Over here with the sliding window. Now all of these are parametrically resized appropriately. So you can resize this to your liking. Again, you can open this up and change the percentage open. It's just to 86%. You're gonna see it's more open than it was before. Look at this on the interior and exterior. We can see both of these interior, exterior. Got a, a few nice textures that come along with them as well. And then of course you can modify your casing as need be. Um, these come you know, pre-installed with a particular casing on them, but it's easy to swap this from the library, especially in X14, which is what these symbols are built out of. So these really are nice looking symbols you can see stashes on these symbols are straight from the anderson catalog so look very nice in that aspect as well now some of the issues that come up with the sliding window this is why i include all of the components that comprise these windows that are used to uh, is that here we've got a two by six exterior wall so what i needed to do was um in my window components dialog i'm going to look for my Rab's Anderson slider frame as a shutter. And what I would have to do is I might need to duplicate this or I could just modify this on the fly. And what I'm gonna be modifying is I'm gonna be coming into the open symbol dialog. And this is built on a two by four wall assembly. So you're gonna see that 
um, out of the box, it's going to have a certain dimension here. You're going to need to add the difference between uh, the wall assembly it was built for and the wall assembly that you're placing it in, in the Y position origin offset in order to get that, um, to get that frame to offset correctly. And you can see here, the slider is placed based on the center line of that wall. So we're needing to offset based on the center line of that wall. So that's something that you have to kind of play with in order to get to look correct. So it takes a little bit of user input. And again, price is indicative of these uh, challenges. That slider itself takes a little bit of user input to get that frame offset. What you're gonna see here is, I'm gonna go and open this symbol again and I'm gonna revert it back to its original, which was if I go in the sizing tab and check, take a look at the depth, I'm gonna copy this depth, bring it over to the offset, paste it in the offset. 11 13 16 and then when I go and hover over this frame you can see we get that replacement icon so I'm going to replace that and you're going to see that the offset did in fact affect look of this window right so that all of a sudden our sliding door is outside of that frame so you need to go in here make sure I know what size this wall is we'll take a look at um, this other plan where we knew what the size of this wall was the thickness was five and an eighth and we come into this next plan and we take a look at the thickness of this wall. The thickness of this wall is seven and nine sixteenths. But really, the thickness of this wall is the main layer change. And the main layer change was two inches. So let's see what happens when I just add two inches to our offset. Or rather, I'm going to be subtracting two inches from our offset. When I subtract those two inches from our offset, replace from going to see that that slider now looks appropriate there we go so really it's the main layer size change that you might need to do in this symbol other than that these behave as they should you're going to see this in the preview of the purchase dialog there is nice little rendering where we go into a pbr ray trace view and, and get a shot of what these windows look like and they're really pretty as, as dynamic as i can make these symbols and that's what i was shooting for did a lot of uh, a lot of checking on these, a lot of lining up, a lot of a lot of little tweaks to get them to look and, and feel as best as I could. So I think that they really perform well, and I think that they really look sharp in a plan. It's nice to have a few open windows to kind of break the scene up, make it look a little bit more realistic, to catch light in the right way. Uh, they really do look sharp. So there you go. Enjoy.